Today I decided to make an amplifier out of an LM317. Uh, the LM317 is actually a voltage regulator, but I've seen some people on the internet making uh, amplifiers to drive speakers out of these. I thought it would be a neat little project. Here's your LM317. This is how it would normally be used in a circuit. We're going to use it the same way, too. These are your two uh, resistors that form a divider network. Your adjust pin goes in between them. Output resistor to adjust pin, resistor to ground. Uh, these two resistors set what voltage outputs on this LM317. Your output's always going to be 1.2 volts higher than the voltage at your adjust pin. Now this makes sense because if the adjust pin were at zero, your output would be 1.25 volts, which uh, coincidentally is the minimum voltage that the LM317 can output, because this can't go any lower than zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the audio and input it right here at the adjust pin. And all that's going to do is it's going to vary the voltage on the adjust pin, which is in turn going to vary the voltage on the output pin. When I hook this up to the adjust pin, my adjust pin needs to be high enough to where when this goes low on the wave, on every wave, that it's not going to hit zero. So I want my adjust pin to be at least my peak amplitude, which in this case is two volts. So it'd probably end up looking like this. If this is my adjust pin at two volts, if I set the pin at two volts, once I apply the signal to that pin, it won't drop below zero. Since my output pin is always going to lead the adjust pin by 1.25 volts, if I give the adjust pin two volts, which is my peak amplitude from the input signal, we're going to end up at 3.25 volts. That's actually going to be the quiescent point. And that's the point at which if there's no audio applied to the system, what you're going to be at your output. So in our case, we're going to be at 2 plus 1 and a quarter, so we'll be at 3 and a quarter volts. So here we're at rest. Here's the audio signal applied, just uh, one, one sine wave, and then back at rest again. Adjust pins at 2 volts. The output leads it by 1.2 vol volts. So our maximum peak is going to be 5.25 volts coming from your output. And I've read from the data sheet that the maximum uh, overhead voltage or, or voltage drop is 2.5 depending on temperature and the amount of amps that actually goes through uh, the 317. So just to be safe, we're going to add an additional 2.5 volts to the maximum voltage that's coming from the output. And that's going to put us at 7.75. 5 volts. Now the whole reason we're doing all this, I'm trying to keep all the values as low as possible, is power. Uh, power dissipated in watts is equal to your voltage in minus your voltage out, which is basically what's staying inside of the 317 times your load current. I've estimated the circuit that I'm going to build to be about 260 milliamps. Um, just, just as an example, I plugged two different voltages, the one I'm using, 7.75, and just another arbitrary voltage, 10 volts, into the same formula to come up with the wattage. And over a difference of 2.5 volts, it actually adds about a half of a watt, so it does make a difference. So there's no need, there's no need to give the LM317 more voltage than you're actually going to take out of it. And more voltage isn't going to mean more power, because this is always going to be the same voltage and that's going to be defined by these two resistors and that the voltage out of here is all you can't get any higher than the swing on your input because it's always going to mirror it you're not actually amplifying any voltage you're actually amplifying the current or you're reducing the loading so with that being said I'm actually going to build this circuit right here and I've estimated the R2 value to be uh, if you want 3.25 volts at your output, it's going to take 384 ohms with a 240 ohm resistor. Now obviously I'm probably going to use like a 370 or a 390, whatever comes um, available or whatever I have, and uh, it'll be close. Alright, well here's the completed circuit.
it's not terribly loud, but I mean, for what it is, it's not too bad. Let's try it with a different speaker and see what happens. That's not terrible. Oh, I'm drawing about uh, 460 milliamps too at the moment. So, um, after running this for a little while, the heat sink is warm, it's not hot at all, I can touch it indefinitely, um, and that's at 7.75 volts. I'm going to go ahead and raise the voltage up and just kind of see what happens. Notice the distortion because I'm not up to the voltage that we calculated. If I turn it up, it'll go away. If we start turning it down, it starts getting distorted. I hate to say it, nothing's happened yet. We're running at 32 volts. On an LM317 amp. Heat sink, uh, you can touch for a couple seconds, that's about it though, that's how hot it is. It's actually quite surprising. This thing's super hot now. Uh, back on with no heat sink. Here we go. Okay. I think it's crying. I guess the uh, heat protection seems to be working. Uh oh. We killed it. <laughs>